Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Nasir Soft. In this video, I will show you how we can implement the knife face algorithm. This is an example, and here you can see that we have a data in which we have certain uh, attributes as age, income, student, credit rating, and bias computer. So we have to predict that whether uh, why when age is less than equal to 30 or something else than a user by computer or not so this is a simple data set so the first step is you need to check that we have two condition in by computer one is no and second is yes okay so first how many times uh, when no occur that is equal to one two three four five so total negative classes that is equal to n and that is equal to five and total positive we denote it with p and that is equal to 9. So how many positive is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have interested in by computer, yes. So therefore our positive case, I denoted it with that is equal to 9. Okay. In knife base, we have x data set. Let h is a hypothesis. that x belongs to class class if, class c okay so we have x data set and h that is a hypothesis that x belongs to class c so here classification is determined in naive base as p of h of x and it is the probability that hypothesis holds given observed data simple x Okay, and the overall knife base formula is this one P of C of X that is equal to P of C multiplied by P of X of C divided by P of X. That looks complicated, but it is very simple, believe me. So we have this example I have already showed to you. Okay, so the first step we determine the probability of positive and negative. Okay, so for example, here. I make a class C1, okay, and name it where students buys computer, yes, okay, that is equal to buys computer is equal to yes, okay, and that probability will be if I keep P of C of 1, that is equal to how many times where buys computer is this. Yes? If I see that there is 9 time and overall data that is 14. So therefore, that is equal to probability of where bias computer is yes, that is equal to 9 by 14. And that is equal to 0.66643. Okay. Similarly, I create a new class and this class is bias computer that is equal to no. And its probability is p of c of 2 and that is equal to overall 2 data uh, 5 data that is equal no so therefore 5 by overall data that is equal to 14 that is equal to 0 0.357 so after that now we have a com uh, conditions okay in which we apply the knife based algorithm to predict that whether through this data set that is not included in that it is that data set that whether our knife based predict in that is belongs to class yes or not okay so the condition is giving to us or i can say that the question is giving to that so when this type of data simple is given to us and we have applied the knife base to predict that whether this condition okay will fall in bias computer yes or not so we have to predict that according to this condition whether our when we apply the naive based algorithm then whether it uh, it predict that bias then according to this condition the student bias computer or not okay so therefore according to this one is given us as a data simple age is less than or equal to 30 income is medium okay and uh, student is yes and credit rating is fair student is yes and credit fair is, uh, credit rating is fair okay for example now we have find the individually probability of all these 
conditions for example here i mentioned the step one here we find the first condition that is equal to age is less than equal to 30 and we have to predict it with respect to bias computer yes this is very important step if you understand this one then remaining is very easy to you okay so bias computer is equal to yes first we predict this one and we check the probability of this one and similarly then according to this age is less than equal to 30 we also check the probability of bias computer is equal to no so first we determine when age is equal less than equal to 30 and bias computer is yes how many times is this one if i see in this data when age is less than equal to 30 and bias computer is equal to yes and how many times the data is occur this is no this is also no age is less than equal to 30 and by computer is no age is less than equal to 2 the bias computer is yes that is equal to 1 that is equal to 2 so we have two rows when age is less than equal to 30 and by computer is yes so therefore and overall if we check how many time age is less than equal to 30 okay and uh, with respect to how many time bias computer is yes that is equal to 9 so therefore there are only two if i check its probability of this one that is equal to 2 by overall yes that is equal to 9 so 2 by 9 so what will be its answer the answer will be 0 0.222 and similarly if i determine its probability then when age is less than equal to 30 and by computer is no so what will be the age is less than equal to 30 and by computer is no 1 2 3 this is not so we have 3 and overall negative that is equal to 5 so 3 by 5 and it answer will be 0.6 so similarly at step 2 now we have done with this one now we check this one with income medium and when by computer is yes and with income medium will by computer is no so at step two so now we check the probability when income is equal to medium according to our given sample okay and by computer is equal to yes we have to determine this and similarly with the no one income is equal to that is given to us medium and we check it probability with by computer no okay so what will be this probability according to the same with the same method is probability with where we have to check when income is equal to medium and by computer is equal to yes how many times is when income is equal to medium and by computer is yes one this is one negative two medium and yes two and three and medium yes four and medium no okay so that is equal to four and overall yes that is equal to nine so the answer is four by nine and it is point four 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 and similarly if you check in data set when income is equal to medium and bias computer is equal to no so when income is equal to medium by computer is equal to no one two two and overall negative data is equal to five so therefore two by five and it answer is 0.4 similarly we have to did this step for third sample that is student is equal to yes so we have to check at step three we, we determine the probability when student is equal to yes and by computer is equal to yes and similarly we have to here check student is equal to no this is very simple and by computer is equal to no so first we determine the probability when student is equal to yes and by computer is equal to yes so if you check in this data when student is equal to yes and by computer is equal to yes okay one two three four 
5, 6. 6 by and over of positive that is equal to 9. So the answer will be 6 by 9. And the answer is 6 by 9. If you calculate it, 0 0.66. And similarly, when we check in data with student is equal to no and by computer is, is equal to no, so the overall, the answer will be that's only 1, 1 by and overall negative that is equal to 5. Okay, so the answer will be 0 0.2. So similarly, at the last credit rating, okay, for the credit rating at step 4, we did the same. At step 4, we have to determine with the next, we check the probability of credit rating is equal to fair as it given to us in data set and we determine it, the probability with by computer yes and with the same we determine its probability as fair with bias computer no so if you determine here how many time where credit rating is fair and by computer is yes one two three four five six so that is equal to six and overall positive that is equal to nine six by nine and the answer is 0 0.666 and if you check with respect to the no so the answer will be 2 by 5 overall negative data 5 okay so therefore the answer will be 0 0.4 so after calculating all the sample which you have given which is given to us okay the probability with respect to bias computer yes and no there is a second last step that is most important and this step is now we multiply each positive okay to determine the overall class okay that is very simple i will show it to you here if i here p of x where x is equal to this given simple that is given to us that age is less than equal to 30 income is medium students yes and credit rating is fair it, according to this given data sample we have to predict whether it is it falls in by computer yes or no class so therefore that is equal to x with respect to bias computer is equal to yes that is equal to we have to multiply basically we find the data simple with respect to yes okay so to calculating the overall we have to multiply the each four step yes one Okay, for example, where age less than equal to 30 and bias computer is yes. The answer is 0 0.22 multiplied by 0 0.44 multiplied by 0 0.66. So each individually multiplied by 0 0.66. So each yes, we have to uh, multiply its probability. So here I directly write the first one yes is equal to 0 0.222 multiplied by the second simple when income is medium and bias computer is yes, the probability is 0 0.444 multiply by the third one when student is yes and bias computer is yes, that is equal to 0 0.666 and the last one when credit rating is fair and bias computer is yes, that is equal to 0 0.666. So when you multiply all these values, so we have the probability of x with by according to the by yes the answer will be that is equal to p of x with by computer yes okay the answer will be point zero four three eight five okay so similarly we have to determine the overall negative probability when the data simple of x when by computer is equal to no so just multiply the negative side when bias computer is no with all the probability for example 0 0.6 multiply by 0 0.4 multiply by 0 0.2 multiply by 0 0.4 so that answer will be if i multiply the each that is 0 0.6 multiply by 0 0.4 multiply by 0.2 multiplied by 0.4 the answer will be 0 
one nine. So this is the overall positive when p data simple according to the data simple when bias computer is yes probability and when bias computer is no probability. So one last step is now for checking in which class it will lie according to our data simple. Okay. So now for yes. Okay, when here this is C1 and C2, so our class yes probability is when I just created a C1 and overall we check that 9 by 14 overall positive and negative we check the positive probability is 0 0.643. For yes case, multiply P of C1 with this value P of X of bias computer that is equal to yes p of c1 is equal to 0 0.643 as we already determined at the start 0 0.643 multiply by this one that is the yes probability 0 0.04385 and it answer will equal to 0 0.028 so similarly for no This is the probability of C2 as at start this is the no class C2 and this probability is equal to 0 0.357 okay so we have multiplied this one with this one when by compute overall probability that is equal to 0 point sorry here I write P of X of bias computer is equal to no so it answer will be equal to that is equal to 0 0.357 probability of C2 multiply by probability of overall probability of virus computer is equal to no that is equal to 0 0.019 and it answer will be equal to 0 0.007 something okay so here according to this data sample that is given to us to apply the knife base so we have predicted that as the probability of yes is greater than the probability of no. So therefore, this data simple according to our hypothesis which we have uh, at the start, okay, we built according to x belongs to bias computer that is equal to yes. So therefore, because of the probability of yes is greater than the probability of no so that's how the knife base algorithm works according to our knife base the student at this data simple when age is equal less than or equal to 30 income is equal to medium student is equal to yes and credit rating is equal to fair should buy the computer okay according to this is our data simple So this is the overall mechanism of how knife base works. If you have any questions regarding to this topic, you can email me. Email is mentioned in video description or you can comment inside the video comment section. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos. Stay blessed. Have a nice day.